Halloween by the Pool. This is the first time William Woolett Jr. Aquatic Center in Irvine has hosted Little Monsters and Fairy Princesses. We are so excited to have everyone here today. Um, we were given the opportunity to do a Halloween event for the city and we thought what better way than um, a floating pumpkin patch. This Monster Splash event also features groups that participate with local youth athletic sports. Today giving out information and candy. Well it's very fun because I like candy and it makes me it makes me get really excited because it's candy and Halloween, which is like super fun because I get to eat candy, like lots of candy. So candy is number one for all of the kids that are here. And then we're also having monster races. We have an enchanted lagoon where the kids can come in and swim. And then we're playing some movies. We also have our artistic uh, swim team here doing a performance as well as our dive club. In addition to the dive club, they have an artistic swimming performance taking place. Girls ranging in age from 6 to 18. The club is nationally ranked and coach Nessa Lowe once swam competitively for the team. Now she's inspiring others. It combines um, elements of speed swimming, gymnastics and dance all in the water together. being on a team sport, especially something like this, where you're adaptable and learning new skills all the time is really important and it fosters a great uh, friendships between the girls and, and teamwork, which is really important. I know. Right. This is the first time we're doing trick-or-treating here at our aquatic center at Heritage Park. So it's wonderful to see the little costumes. We saw little chefs, little animals, little witches, little cats. Um, and it's really fun and it's a good way for uh, our staff here at the Aquatic Center and Community Services to interact um, with families and children who are visiting this facility, some of whom are visiting for the first time. The safe and fun way to celebrate is one that the Wright family is happy to be a part of. Great environment for the kids, uh, a lot of activities, um, and how they uh, staged everything. Was, it's, it's really well staged and little stations for every kid and how they can trick or treat and kind of interact with everybody, so it's, it's super cool. Get them out and get them accustomed to what Halloween is. It's a safe environment, it's a lot more controlled and daytime. The Wright's three-year-old daughter is the cutest Chick-fil-A cow mascot we've seen here. Can you tell me about today? What are you? What's going on today? Eat my chicken. <laughs> Eat more chicken. You gonna go trick or treat? Yeah. You gonna trick or treat? While Sister Taylor hops away, Tristan tells us what he's looking forward to. I'm getting pumpkins and going trick or treating. There's so much fun games to do, and pumpkins, like big pumpkins. I really enjoy like just throwing the hoops and then catching it. Something I just realized is. There's a skeleton sunbathing in the water. Along with those skeletons, there's also bounce houses to work off the sugar rush and food trucks feeding families. <laughs> Throughout the year, the pool is open to the public. For more information, you can give them a call. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twegg.